Hello everyone, welcome to day two of our Mindful Monday. So, going back to what we discussed last week, I'd really encourage you to practice what we began learning in this concept of maybe starting to ground ourselves in this present moment. So, raise your hand if you did it. If you were able to practice, congratulations, you started your mindfulness practice already. If not, that's okay. We're gonna begin with doing something a little bit different today and continuing and learning how, like what mindfulness is and then really how to do this realistically within your, your day to day. So mindfulness, as we had described, is this awareness of this present moment. And what that's gonna include is obviously awareness of the self internally, kind of what's going on inside of us but also of our own, of our environment, what's going on outside of us. It's really hard to pay attention to all of it when we are in the midst of doing work, you know, studying for exams, preparing a meal for the family. It's really challenging to just stay present constantly, which is why we need to practice. Because like anything else, it's a muscle that you're trying to build. So... What we're going to be doing today is talking about sort of what mindfulness is in terms of learning to observe, describe, and then participate. And this is going to be observing and describing internally and externally and participating fully in our environment so that we can live a full and present mindful life, right? So... The second piece is how do we do this? A lot of people struggle with this piece, right? Because you're like, yeah, I, I notice sometimes when thoughts pass by, but what do I do with it? Or um, I am noticing that my heart's racing, but I just start to freak out. And I, you know, instead I just try to, I don't know, ignore it or push the feeling down or whatever. Not super helpful. So if you are one of those people that are starting to pick up on the signs, that's great. Now we're going to talk about like how to continue to incorporate this mindfulness practice so that you can do something about it, which is the exciting part. So the how-to of mindfulness. So what we're going to be doing is observing, describing, and participating, like I said. How you do this, and we talked about it already, is by trying to be non-judgmental. Why is that important? Well, if you observe or notice that a thought comes up, for example, and you judge it as, oh God, I'm so stupid, or I'm so weird, or this is so awkward, and we're judging the situation, what's gonna happen immediately? You're likely gonna have an intensity, um, an intense reaction to those thoughts. So what we're gonna try to do is to reduce our judgments around thoughts and feelings and sensations so that we can help ourselves regulate our emotions, especially when we're having intense moments in our life. Another piece to this is being able to do one thing at a time, right? So it's hard for us to live in the present moment when we're really focused on the past or we're focused on the future or if we're doing a million things at the same time and not doing any of them very well because you are just cutting in and out of tasks, right? And you're really stressed and tense. It's difficult for you to even pay attention to what's going on inside and then outside of you. And the last piece is being able to do what works for you. This is super individualized to everybody. So it um, can look like Let's say you're really stressed out. I know that for me, it helps when I try to just like pause, ground myself, maybe do some breathing, um, put on my favorite lotion and just like breathe into my hands. For other people, they need to get up and move and like take a lap. Or they need to really like talk it out with a friend or a colleague or something like that. So... 
doing what works is going to be really specific to learning what's good for you. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today is just going back to that short practice that we did, right? So I'm going to ask you to put your hand again on your chest. But this time we're not just going to listen to our heartbeats. I'm going to ask you to also listen to your breath. So internally we're going to be observing and noticing things like our breath, our heartbeat, maybe if your stomach is making gurgly noises because you're hungry, or if you're going to notice that maybe some thoughts are coming up, that's great. That's what we want to start seeing. And then I'm going to ask you to maybe start by practicing being non-judgmental, right? Not judging your stomach and be like, oh my God, it's so loud, how embarrassing. Or if the thoughts come by and trying to just label it maybe as a thought rather than putting any other type of maybe judgmental label on it. So let's start by doing that. What did you notice? I noticed I was having a really hard time concentrating, trying to multitask, keep track, keep you know track of the time. How about you? Anything come up? Did you realize if you were having judgmental thoughts, and if so, did you judge those judgments? We want to avoid doing that. That's for sure. Did you notice maybe that you were able to better pay attention to your heartbeat or your breath? Now these things can seem silly, but it's a way for us to start practicing, just like bringing the attention into ourselves to pause. That's why we're starting small. So for this next week, I want you to add to what we just did. Placing the hand on the chest and listening to the heartbeats. Now noticing, paying attention to the breath and noticing if there are thoughts that are passing by and being able to do all of that non-judgmentally. Okay? So it was awesome getting to do this with you again. And I look forward to working on week three. Have a great day.